When I was really young, a kid, I wanted to be a kindergartner because my idea was that I could play for the rest of my life. But as a teenager, um, I went to a nun's school and they put me on the stage and I found out I was a really good actress. So that's what I wanted to become. I was pitched at the age of 19 to become a model and very fast was sent to Paris. And once I spoke French, I became an actress, but I always had a camera in my pocket. And today I'm a photographer and it's the best that could have ever happened to me. I found my path. I'm ecstatic being a photographer. I believe really that all the opportunities I took, and this would be a message as well. If there is an opportunity in your life, take it, risk it. Go with it. If you fail, who cares? Learning curve, right? So after my children became bigger, I started photographing more and more people and I was good at it. So I made it a business. And then over time, turned out that I do something which I call photographic therapy. I have a skill of making people feel better about themselves during my sessions. That's what keeps me going, and that's also my unique selling point. As a young actress, you um, face Me Too moments, and many of them. And to, to navigate around those um, as a woman in, in that job was not easy. To stick to my own moral and my values was not easy. It would have been much easier if I would have, for example, uh, used the casting couch, as we call it. I could have had an even bigger career, you see, but I didn't want to go there. I was quite happy with, with my good little self and the career as it was. Necessity is the mother of invention, right? So I started photographing people via my telephone. Um, I, I called it FaceTime photography and that worked pretty well and it was fun and the results come out in what we call high resolution. So virtual photography has become my new passion at the moment. I also started, um, of course, opening the studio again because we could and there's nothing that replaces that. But Virtual photography was definitely my dis discovery over the past um, uh, year and without COVID, it wouldn't have happened. <laughs>